girl Miss Hobbs and I want to know what you're chewing today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be chewing on some baked chicken smothered in mushroom gravy, some sautéed kale, and mashed taters, y'all. What you trying to do? Tell me, girl, I'm all with <laughs> So check out what I got going on so far. In here, I have some salted water with uh, about five pounds of rusted potatoes that I've cut up sparsely. Over here, I have some chicken leg that I have put a touch, just a touch, of garlic powder, seasoning, salt, salt, and pepper on there. Gotcha. These are going in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. All right. Going in. And I need some heat. Get some heat going back here, guys. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Over here, what I have done for y'all and us, is I've cut up half of a, a large, very large yellow onion and five slices of bacon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, and you know what? I know y'all probably looking like, what is she cooking in that pan? What's going on with that pan, y'all? I know, y'all, I know. This is a pan that I fried some chicken in earlier, y'all. Just dump the grease out. You got all that love in there. Don't throw it away, especially if you're going to do something like this, y'all. All right. Keep it in there. That is. All right. We're going to hit this with a little salt and pepper. All right. Make sure y'all comment down below what y'all chewing on. You know we are highly influenced. So your next dish may be our next dish. So make sure you leave it. Action on and off. We crack a lacking over here. We crack a lacking. Mm -hmm. What y'all got going on today? Yes. Cinco de Mayo, guys. I know, right? I don't think I did Cinco de Mayo <laughs> sleep. Yes, yes, yes. He did. I don't get to sleep much. So I sleep when I can. He got a good little nap today, y'all. Yeah, I don't realize when you go 12, usually I go to bed about 11 or 12 o'clock. And when you up at 5.45 every morning, you don't realize doing that every day takes a toll on you until you lay down really good and don't have to go to work the next day. I'm like, wait a minute, I am actually tired. Let me sleep some more. He sure did. He surprised me, y'all. I usually stay up and try to work on music or... I never stop working, put it that way, y'all. If I ain't working on, at work, I'm working on music. So, I'm never not working. So, it just felt good to get some sleep. Felt good. And yeah, I was surprised. I looked over and there he was. I was like, what? What? That ain't so, y'all. The hailstorm had him trapped. <laughs> that we didn't get? That we never get? <laughs> We get hailed every now and again. They say we usually, literally, when we turn on our weather channel or look at the weather on our phone, it just has, at this point, it just gives you every <laughs> every system that you could possibly have. It'll say sunny, rainy, hail, and snow all at one time. Just here. Y'all guess what it's going to be. We can't even tell you no more. I showed him earlier this morning. It had hail. It had uh, thunderstorms. Rain. It had snowstorms. It had Yesterday, the sun was out in the mix of all of that. Right, exactly. As it was kind of today, y'all. I'm telling you, it was bright outside. It was raining, but it wasn't, it wasn't thunderstorming. And, oh, Lord, you know, hell is about to freeze over. It wasn't that. It did. Just some rain. Yes, a little rain, y'all. <laughs> it didn't stop the kids from playing outside. Oh, though. gosh, no, guys. <laughs> Blocked them from coming home. I had to go all down. I'm like, wait a minute, this ain't even right, guys. These kids had the road looking like they living room. It's sandals in the road, <laughs> shoes turned over in the road, skateboards, bikes, just I mean, literally in the in the driveway, so you can't drive. So I seen one. I said, hey, this y'all stuff? Yeah. I said, can you come move it? Just like that. His mama coming down there talking about, oh my gosh, so and so and so, whatever his name was. You can't leave your stuff like that. I said, I bet your living room look like that woman. I'm, 
You let them do that in the streets, your house probably look like that too. Let's be honest. Yeah, I was out there playing with them. No, she ain't taking them out there. <laughs> She was sure out there because we went to the store and she was telling me, oh, we were out here and Joelle's little brother was here and doing it. We were playing and I was hiding over there. I saw how you were probably one of the ones your daddy was fussing at when he got home. <laughs> Shit, I didn't care. I don't care if your mama out there or nothing because she don't got enough sense to tell you to go put that stuff up. Then I promise you I will. I will. I come from the old school, y'all, you know. The people in the neighborhood tell you what to do. And you gonna listen because they grown? You know, we used to live off that concept, just the fact you grown, you gonna listen. These kids these days, don't care nothing about you being grown. They're like, uh, you ain't my mama and dad, and if you were, I don't even know if you listening <laughs> then. Shoot, you kids ain't no joke. All right, guys, I'm just checking the potatoes here, and I think they are about done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yep. Well, I bought a whole potato, y'all. I ain't even cut that one. Oops. <laughs> I missed him. <clears throat> that's all right. Him feel kind of soft. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. No, that's what she didn't want, though. <laughs> I have three cloves of garlic that I have diced up. Don't eat. About a tablespoon full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, it's hard to sit here and you got bacon and onion and <laughs> garlic and salt and pepper. Man, bump it. Turn it in the Yeah! That smells good right there, y'all. Yep, and by the time you smell the garlic, mm. it's time to get your kale going. So, let me grab my kale over here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put it in the pan. Let's see how much I'm going to drop everywhere, y'all. Y'all know how I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to get as much as possible in the pan. Yup. Yeah. Down goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm hear that? Sound like the moisture coming out that kale. Yep. Getting a little pop, 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 pop. And that's exactly what you want to happen. Mm-hmm. <coughs> a little sweatish. Yep. The kale is just right, exactly. I was about to say that. It's just like most other green vegetables, it's gonna go ahead and wilt down, so no big deal. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue to add kale in here slowly but surely. So I will see you guys back in a few more minutes. All right, guys, we are back and I have the kale over there wilting down. Right here, I have a head of garlic that mm -hmm. I have roasted in the oven nice. with some olive oil and salt. Okay. 350 degrees for about 30 35 minutes. All right, Very easy. And I'm just squeezing, I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm squeezing the garlic out. Garlic love. There it is. All right, all right, all right. We got one more coming. There we go. All right. Now, I have also put in a stick of butter okay. to the potatoes and a splash of milk because I only had a splash left in the container I had, so I went ahead and threw it in there. Gotcha. Going in with some heavy whipping cream. Make them a little decadent, why don't we? Okay. And I've already tasted them for salt. It's not, I don't need to add any more salt, but I will add some more pepper here in a minute. And that garlic is so soft that it's just going to incorporate itself in as I mash the potatoes. Nice. Mm-hmm, you know, like a good old made of mashed potatoes. Yeah. 
Tater. You know your son love his mashed taters. So I love everything at this point. That's food. <laughs> All right, I can use some more milk now. <clears throat> oh, B33 think he's strong, y'all. He just opened the milk with one hand. You ain't got it like that. You ain't got it like that, girl. You don't have to tell it. You just show. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. That's what it is. And that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Y'all know B33 is a mess. Mm-hmm. That was looking good. Looking real good. It's smelling good too, y'all, because that garlic is not playing up in there. Mm-hmm. And I just add the milk. I would say little by little, but again, that's relative. Right. Some by some. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> so we get them nice and smooth and creamy. Mm -hmm. All right, that's starting to look good right there. Let me put some fire on back here. A little fire, a little fire action. I think we're pretty good right here. Okay. I will move these and move momento so I can get to my pan back there on the back. And I'll put the lid on those to keep those warm. And let's check on our kale. And guys, I haven't added anything to this. I did, um, such as seasoning. I did add about a quarter cup of water to the bottom, just enough to cover the bottom so you can get all the good juices and berries off the bottom. Because y'all know that's flavor in the brown. <laughs> so I just put enough in there just to make sure I could scrape up all the fond, which is what it's called, from the bottom that adds more flavor. And I have it on a medium low heat. And it's doing good. It's doing good. I'll put that back on. And back here, I have about a tablespoon of oil. And I'm going in with the other half of the yellow onion. And these are baby portobello mushrooms that I've uh, cleaned with a damp rag and uh, sliced up. Okay. So they are going in. Let me make some room here for y'all to see what in the world I'm doing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we're getting this about to start lighting up in the smells, y'all. Uh-oh, we're gonna get some more smells going. Mm -hmm. I need another spoon, y'all. Tell y'all I was gonna add some pepper to my potatoes. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. This house just forgetting y'all. Just forgetting. Let me put some pepper up in here any tighter. I'm glad y'all reminded me. <laughs> It's gonna be some thick taters, y'all, because we're gonna use our mushroom gravy to go with them. So we need some taters that's gonna stand up to our gravy. All right. I thought about it because I need to season the mushrooms and the onions. What is? A little salt and pepper. Same thing. I'm looking for the salt, y'all, and it's right here next to me. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It be like that sometimes, though. I'm going to be all right.
Just gonna let this soften. It'll probably take about three or four more minutes. So while I do this, I will give you guys a break. And as soon as I get ready to add in the soup, I'll come right back to you. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, onions and mushrooms are ready. Mm -hmm. Right here, I have three cans of cream of mushroom soup. Better cream it up. And we're gonna use this as our gravy, love, guys. You didn't think it was gonna work. You didn't think it was gonna work. Whoa! It's flying back at me, y'all. Look at that. That mushroom popping out. That can't look like my good when I take out my shirt. Oh Lord! Not your good. Not your good. You know, when you take the undershirt off and you just let everything go. Y'all females and y'all wear them um, undergarments. <laughs> everything called waist trainers. Man, yeah. I saw the freakiest thing the other day. This lady had about 80 pounds of gut tucked in a waist trainer, boy. She looked skinny as a mud. That thing fell out, boy. That bitch said blah, 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 Dangerous well, training. That ain't training nothing. That's a waist hider. That's that's a stomach hider. That ain't no waist trainer. You ain't training no waist. You out of your gut. <laughs> you know. She said surprise. Shoot, surprise. She gonna get killed like that. You know. She give her a good night. You know, one night and get to the house and that thing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wait a minute. I done picked up a whole nother person with you. Wait a minute. A whole nother person in there. We just gonna keep B thirty three in the corner. I got you, Katie. I got you. We gonna keep him in the corner. Just saying, that ain't necessary. Just either one lose the weight or two just find a man that like a lot of cut. Just yeah, be yourself. Don't tell you women. Look. Be yourself. I'm going to tell you from a man's standpoint, we so tired of fake females these days, we don't know what to do. Every time we turn around, be like, is she real? Shoot, is she a man? Oh my God. <laughs> is she a woman? What is going on? We just want a natural, let me tell you something. I testify for all men right now. Leave the makeup, leave the weave, leave the, uh, the butt implant, leave that stuff alone. Just leave it no, alone. Some some, but the majority don't. But women think we do, and we don't. That look good for video purposes, okay? That's a good for a little video. When them rappers go home, they wives don't look like that. <laughs> you know, man. I'm just saying. Think about it. All the women want to, you know, they they want to attract the celebrity. They don't want to attract the basketball. Like no, she don't act. I ain't saying nothing about that situation before I be all on the radio and stuff like Kodak Black. Oh, boy. See, I don't know nothing about all time. of that. Nah, you know, when T said his little piece about Nipsey, what about Lauren London? You know, when Nipsey died, you know, talking about she a whole widow out here. You know, T.I., the, 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 the principal of, every, of, of all the rappers, I don't know what he done became the ambassador of rap. Oh, my. Um, has something to say, so... I just don't deal with with Ti. You know, Ti cool people. I was just talking about how his wife. I just don't. I don't deal with Ti. Ti. Ti got too political for me. Right, and exactly. So how can you sit up here and conduct all everybody else's lives and yours ain't together, bro? Please. That's why I stick to my business, y'all. Bro, please. I don't got time to be. First of all, where where did all these? When did all these rappers become politicians? That's why I want to know. Every time you turn around, T.I. diving in song. <laughs> I'm like, when did you becoming a, a rap ambassador? Neville. Did you just get out of time and doing fair time without them guns and stuff? Yeah. So when did you become an advocate for... <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry, y'all. I'm just I'm, I'm tired of the bull crap in the game. You know. Out of the crowd, you want to be somebody's dad at one moment. We're talking about the same stuff you fighting against the next. I just don't. You need to do better by our people. Bump these, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, bro. See, you just threw it all in trash. All right, guys. I have added a can and a half of milk 
to the mushroom um, soup and added some more salt and pepper in there. And that's all we're going to do, y'all. This is done. All right. So what I'm going to get do is get B33 to handle this pan, y'all, because it's a little heavy. And all he's going to do is just pour this directly on top of the chicken. Mm -hmm. And then let it cook for another 30 minutes. And we're good to go. Boom. Ready to eat. Alright guys, we'll see you back and I have B33 pour in the gravy for me. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna pop that back in like I said for another 30 minutes and we'll be ready to go. See you soon. Alright guys, here we are. We have your kale, your mashed taters and gravy, and your baked chicken. There it is. Time to eat y'all. Alright. As always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, smooches. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you like this channel, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the notification bell. That way, when we release a new video, you know first. Thank you, guys.